Hello, and welcome back to my nail corner. Did you guys forget about me? I know some of you missed me, and I so appreciate your messages and reaching out. I feel so bad that it took so long for me to get a video up, but here we are. So this video was recorded about a month ago. It was directly after my vacation, and I came back to this great package with a brand new e-file from Melody Susie. I'm going to link everything in the description box below. They are celebrating their 13th anniversary and have some sales going on, so definitely check them out. So I had removed everything from my nails and then opened this up and of course, you know, chipped a nail in the process because that's how we roll. But I wanted to unbox this for you guys so you could see all of the goodies that come with this e-file. Um, it comes with the, um, obviously the base part of the e-file, the handset, the those drill bits that you see right there, um, which are really nice, just standard kind of the ones you would need to get started, uh, diamond ones, and then they have the uh, sanding bands as well with an extra bag of sanding bands right there. Uh, this is the beautiful handset that matches uh, the e-file. It's such a nice weight. It's like sturdy. It's metal. Um, it's just like a really nice weight to hold in your hand. It feels very stable, which is nice. Um, and then you go ahead and just plug in right there. I love the way that this looks. I think the white and gold is really classy. Um, so there's also, I think, a green version. It might be like a, a different step. But um, the, anyway, there's a switch on the top for reverse and forward and then just a um, kind of turn dial, I guess is what you'd call it, to turn it on and then increase your speed. So very simple operation. It's really beautiful. I've been using it for the past month and it's just, it's operated beautifully. I'm just really happy with it. So it comes with a clip for the side of the e-file if that's how you prefer to use it. And then it also comes with a little stand for on your desk so that your handset doesn't roll off your desk. So I like those little added things that come with it, accessories that just make it more functional. And then there's a really nice user guide. So it tells you which um, e-file bits to use for what purpose um, and then how the unit itself works. And then there is warranty information in this pamphlet as well. I believe if I remember correctly, it's a six month warranty, which is really nice because if anything happens to be defective on the inside um, and it shorts out or go, something goes wrong you can contact Melody Susie and use that warranty and they will take care of you um, so anyway like I said I was really happy with this I've been using it for about a month now and um, had no issues it's just been really great and I actually use it so regularly that I was surprised that the um, charge has held up so long but it continues to just keep going so that's really nice too so I'm gonna pull out a diamond bit that I had in my own stash and I'm gonna do some prep with this e-file because today I was going to be dipping over natural nails and I don't do that that often um, actually I've done jelly tips for a while and right now I'm living my best builder gel life um, I anyway I'll talk about that in a second so I like to use this really narrow diamond bit to just get around the edges of my natural nail that's going to get off all that dead cuticle and keep in mind I had just done a big removal so I had removed builder gel that had been on my nails for two weeks during vacation so my nail plates you would think would be quite clean from doing that big removal but even so there is still that invisible dead like not dead skin I guess it's live cuticle um, that needs to be removed from your nail plate and doing this step is really going to help with um, just eliminating the lifting or the tendency to for your dip or whatever product to lift off of your nails so I highly recommend this before you do even you know a builder gel application jelly tips dip whatever you're doing uh, you want to remove all that invisible cuticle from your nail plate so you want to make sure that you're not kind of holding that drill bit at an angle you want it almost flush with the top of your nail because you don't want to cause ridges so honestly this is like the healthiest I've probably seen my nails in a long time when I did a removal and it's because I've been really careful about when I'm filing not going at an angle not digging into my natural nail you just want to come in like kind of flush with the nail when you're doing any kind of filing um, I also have been finding that my nails are just 
coming in much healthier with my builder gel application. Um, I think everybody kind of has a different go-to and I was doing jelly tips for a long time but I was I was just having more lifting and it's probably because I use peel base and I've been like forcing the dip powder off when it's not ready but for me builder gel has just been my kind of favorite overlay. I can build the apex that I want really nicely um, and I've been wearing like a milky pink builder gel for months and months now and and I just love having that pretty look when I take my dip powder off. So I'm going to finish this prep up real quick and then I will come back and talk to you about some more nail things. Yeah, that thumbnail is what I chipped. So I fixed that off camera, I think. But I'll tell you about that too. How to fix a chipped nail that hasn't completely fallen off. Okay, so my apologies if the audio seems to have changed a little bit or if there's any background noise because now I'm sitting in my car at the pickup line for my kiddos who are at school right now. And um, this is the first time I've recorded outside of the house. So I'm that weirdo sitting with a headset on and my phone in front of me talking to myself. So parents might start looking at me funny. But anyway, um, I had not recorded the first hand that I did. And then I was like, you know what? I haven't done a dip on your natural nails video in a while. So I decided to include it in this and talk about a few of those things. For those of you who do not use an overlay on your nails like Builder Gel or Jelly Tips. So let's i'm just not sure where to start with this conversation so i like to wear an overlay because i use peel base that is because i don't enjoy the soak off process and i do my nails more frequently than like every two weeks and so i don't want to be soaking off that regularly it's time consuming and a bit messy if you're somebody who wears your dip mani for two weeks or better like soak off all for it it's the way to go for a long like longevity is not to wear peel base but because I'm not going for longevity of wear with my dip powder, I like to have an overlay over my nails. That way when I pop off that dip powder, I still have a protective layer over my nails to just, I guess, allow them to grow a little bit. I don't grow them super long, but at this length even, I can't maintain it. I'm just too hard on my nails. Um, so that being said, right now I am doing a first dip over my natural nails. And I will tell you that I did... I mean, this was a month ago. I wanna say I did two dips of color and a dip of clear because that is my standard. And I am using my Triple D dip liquids, which are so nice and thin. They apply really beautifully and it gives you such a thin application, which I, I believe I'll show off when I'm done dipping, but you can even see at that angle how thin one dip is on my natural nails. Um, so I really like the thin application, but like I said, I am so hard on my nails. Um, even when I wear jelly tips, if my dip powder has popped off and I go with jelly tips for a couple days, I am more than likely going to crack one. Um, I don't know what's wrong. It's not like I'm doing like manual labor most of the time, but you know, some weekends I'm doing yard work, but my hands are in like dishwater and um, just like cleaning around the house and I have two young kids. I, I don't know what I do, but apparently I'm just not careful with my hands and I jam my nails into things frequently. Um, I use them to like scrape things off of countertops and all the things I probably shouldn't do with my nails, but um, I have to function. And so that being said, if I just have dip powder on my nails, I'm still likely to break one. If I wear jelly tips, I am likely to crack a jelly tip. Um, but my go-to for protection if I want to grow out my nails is builder gel. Um, I just find that it's the strongest thing for me and holds up really well. When I wear jelly tips without dip powder, I do find that um, after a few days the edges kind of round and I lose a bit of my shape. So then I end up filing off some length and um, reshaping them, which is fine, um, but it's just something that I find wears down for me. I've also definitely, like while cooking, accidentally melted a jelly tip. Like just like the the end was all like bent in and curved and I was like, oh, I guess I was too close to like the steam over that pot. Now again, these are things that happen when I do not have dip powder over my jelly tips. So I highly recommend jelly tips if you want a pre-shaped 
overlay um, to dip over. I think that they're great. Um, but those are some of the things that I've run into as far as wear if you're just wearing the jelly tips in between dip powder. So like I said, I'm really into Builder Gel these days. You can do extensions with them. It takes a little bit more time and reshaping and that sort of thing. But I, I find that I like the, um, the apex that I can build with Builder Gel and just kind of the natural um, more more like the natural shape of my nails look that I get out of them so right now that's my preference sometimes it changes but um, for now that's it and like I said I've been wearing like a light pink milky builder gel which I really like because it's um, it's just really pretty even when my dip powder pops off so currently like I said this video was recorded a month ago um, I wore this color um, which I should tell you is uh, triple D and it's uh, Nana's wings. It is so gorgeous. It has this that beautiful shimmer to it, like oh, diamonds ground down into the dip powder. It applied really beautifully and was just such a nice pink. Um, I attended a wedding um, the weekend after I applied this, and that's why I was like all ten fingers, same color. Um, I'll have to pop a picture in here. Um, I have one of me and my hubby. Maybe I'll just pop one in that I took of myself. Uh, if it shows my nails, I can't remember. But I'll put a picture in here. Went to the wedding, had a great time, um, and then I wore this this for like a week. But I will say, I I did not enjoy the soak off process. I didn't miss it, and it reminded me why I love peel base so much. Um, that being said, when I did soak off, if you guys do soak off your dip powder and need a quick um, or a way to speed up that process, I guess is the better way to say it. I do have a video that was from last year. I will try to put it in the description box below or in the cards up above for a quick soak off process because really heating up the acetone, not like in your microwave, but using like a bowl of hot water to put a baggie of acetone in and heating it up exponentially speeds up the process because I had done one hand and then moved on to the next and it was taking forever. And then I was like, oh, I should reheat this water. And I reheated the water and then it sped it up like so quick, it was done. So speeding up the process with heating up your acetone, again, do not microwave acetone, but using warm water or warmed up rice under um, like a baggie of acetone and then scrubbing your fingernails against a paper towel really helps speed up the process. So again, I have a video doing that before so you can see exactly what I'm talking about if that doesn't make much sense. But what you're seeing in front of you as I'm jabbering on is like real time process dipping my natural nails. Um, you could build up an apex if you find that you have a longer length and you want to build up more strength um, you could also do that um, if you just don't naturally have much of a curve to your nails. Um, but I, I was fine to go with two dips and then a dip of clear on top. Now your clear acrylic is the strongest. It's not compromised by pigment or anything like that. So that is one of the reasons I highly recommend a dip in clear because it just adds strength to your, your nail protection. But um, in addition, it's gonna protect your dip powder from being filed off or any of the pigment or color or shimmer or glitter from being filed into when you do that. So those are a few of the reasons. I also really like that when you have a dip of clear over your color, when you go ahead and activate your nails, that activator is not gonna get contaminated by pigment or shimmer or glitter and then um, mess with your next mani. So those are a few, uh, those are the main reasons that I really like and recommend a dip in clear, um, but that's totally up to you if you wanna do, you know, three dips of color or just whatever, whatever floats your boat, but that's why I like to do a cap in clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate these nails, file and shape off camera, which as you can tell, it didn't I didn't need a lot of filing and shaping when you have good liquids like the triple D liquids um, they're gonna apply nice and thin nice and smooth and then um, the powders are just so finely milled that they just lay really nicely and you're just gonna do kind of a quick cleanup so you can see there how thin the application is that my nails are not um, bulky look at that they're so nice and thin. And then I have a little bit of a natural curve to my nails. 
um, and that just kind of laid right on top of those. So I just went ahead and cleaned up my shape, just kind of crisped up those edges and then around the cuticle line and did like a quick over the surface of my nails. But look, it doesn't really need that much work. So really good liquids make all the difference in the world in your dip application. So I get a lot of questions about um, filing and like when I apply my dip powder, it's all lumpy and bumpy. Like how do I alleviate that? And really I my number one question is what liquids are you using? Because if you have like a thick dip liquid, dip base, that's where you're gonna end up with like kind of a lumpy, bumpy application. So I highly recommend like a thinner applying liquid and then just not putting too much liquid down for your base. So I have gone ahead and filed and shaped off camera and now I am applying gel base. And you might be confused if you're new here, if you're new here, thanks for being here. Um, gel base is what I like to apply first over my dip powder before I apply a gel top coat. Now you could finish off this dip mani using dip top coat. I find gel top coat to be my go-to. It's easier, in my opinion, to get a really flawless, glossy finish. And I really like that when I pull my hand out of the lamp, like I'm done and good to go. I'm totally like dry and cured with dip top coat it sure does cure fast but you've got a couple minutes to wait before it's fully cured and you just kind of got to have your application down to a science to get the timing just right to get a perfect glossy finish so applying gel base before applying gel top coat gives your gel top coat a tacky layer to adhere to if you have dip powder buffed on your nails and you apply gel top coat, you are more than likely going to find that that is going to peel off because gel top coat does not like to adhere to a slick, smooth surface. So again, that gel base is going to help with your gel top coat adherence. And when I do a gel base before a gel top coat, I never have any peeling issues. So if that's something you struggled with, definitely consider using a gel base first. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this gel top coat. Gel base gets cured for 30 seconds in a UV LED lamp and then gel top coat gets cured for 60 seconds and like I said I really like that once you're cured you're good to go if using um, gel products if you have an allergy or a lamp makes you uncomfortable then you can definitely go with a dip top coat and you'd be just as good to go so there are my 10 matching fingernails and a month later I'm already looking at this missing my tan because it has faded so much since I got that from my vacation but I love this color so much like I said it's triple D Nana's wings and it was gorgeous so definitely pick that up if you don't have it already and so I pulled out one of my many triple D cuticle oil pens these are so fun they're so different because they have that like um, rounded sponge like applicator on the end it's so soft and I just love the cuticle oils that Triple D has put out. I think that the cuticle pen is so sleek and sexy looking. Definitely pick those up. Try some of the scents out in the shop because you will not be disappointed. And like I said, the applicator is unlike one that I've used before. I haven't actually seen that like sponge tip applicator with any other cuticle oil and I love it so much. So cuticle oil is really important to healthy or to hydrate your cuticles and keep them healthy after all of the soaking off and then application and filing and all that stuff that dries it out keeps your skin nice and healthy I really don't find that I have hang nails or any issues like that since I use cuticle oil on the regular so thanks for being here thanks for being patient while I was away I'm so glad to be back and we'll have more content coming in the near future talk to you later guys have a good one bye now